Okay, this is a video on how to start a fire in this wood burning stove. Uh, you want to put a couple of pieces of kindling in here and then you can stick your, uh, your paper or the spat wood to uh, start your fire. So I'll set a couple of these in here and then some more kindling and then a couple of uh, medium sized logs. You probably don't want to start off with your larger logs first until the fire gets going. Uh, once you have that in there, go ahead and start your uh, either paper or your batwood. Um, for, to get this going, you want to have these uh, vents pushed all the way in to allow air to, to circulate through here. And then also, once the fire is going, don't shut this all the way, but just leave it maybe an inch open so the smoke doesn't come out until your wood catches it or uh, it'll help it start faster. And then it'll take about three to five minutes for a good fire to burn and then you want to shut this. And then as as your fires um, as your fire gets up going better, you can pull these vents out to to slow down the burn. The stove will still stay really hot, and then your, your firewood will last a lot longer. Uh, and if you want it to kick out some heat, there's a little contr control fan over here that you can use to uh, adjust uh, the heat in the, in the room. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it for starting the fire. When you go to clean it out, you want to make sure that you don't have any hot coals, and you can use one of these shovels on the side here. And this bucket that will be outside, also hide the glass sliding door. And once you put this in, you can set it back, back outside. Don't throw the ashes in the in the garbage bin for at least 48 hours. And then when you do throw it out, it needs to be in a garbage bag. Uh, the city dump, the city garbage. Uh, Disposal won't take uh, ashes if you just throw the ashes in the, in the bin without a, being in a garbage bag. And I think that's about it.